Hello. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to transfer from one customer balance to another customer balance. In this case, one has an outstanding balance and the other one has a credit balance. So let's see how we can uh, uh, do the transaction. So right now, I'm at the home page screen here. This is a home page screen. And let's go to our customers. It's customer center. From here is a little navigation bar on the left side. Go to customers. As you can see here, uh, I have two customers in here. The first one is A A one double A one has uh, outstanding balance of one thousand dollars, and the customer double A two has a credit balance of $3,000. So what we're trying to do now is apply $1,000 from here to this outstanding invoice. So that's our goal. So we want to make this one paid and uh, the money will come from here, double it to account. And once we're done, this one should be gone. There shouldn't be any outstanding balance and this one will have two thousand dollars still two thousand dollars credit balance so that's our goal let's see how we can do it okay so in order to do that uh you will need to create a dummy bank account to handle this type of transfer so this tutorial video will show step by step by step instruction uh on how to handle such transactions in new QuickBooks Online. Uh, by the way, you will need to watch this video in its entirety to fully understand the complete process involved here. All right. Okay. So, first one, we want to create a new dummy bank account in here. So I'm going to go to chart of accounts here right here from the company gear and start of accounts is right here all right I've already created one dummy bank account here it will say bank clearing account if you edit it so the screen will look exactly like this the bank account you can name it any way you want it you can just call it just a clearing account that's fine you can just call it uh, AR clearing so it doesn't really matter what you name it but it has to be within category bank type you can select any way you want it uh, under detail type but the bank type has to be the category type has to be bank so let's just say bank clearing account as it is and if you don't assign account number, that's okay. You won't even see it. All right, we'll just save it. Okay, so right here, it's, it's the type is bank account here. So if you go back, there's a category type is bank. This is the one you need to set up. It's a dummy type and it's a clearing type account. It will be primarily used for in and out type and will have no balance. So it will so always so zero balance one you once you handle uh, this type of special transactions okay so we do have this okay so now we go back to the customer center in here here's one now outstanding uh, open invoice so you're going to receive payment on this one so let's go in here right here receive payment or you can do this one first doesn't matter let's just do this one first it will work out the same receive payment and the deposit to is a triple a one is a customer and the deposit to you want to select from your drop down list is the is this clearing account a dummy account we just created bank clearing account so deposit to this one all right so the payment matter you can just say anything it's any way you want it but i have a I like to call it internal clearing so you just add uh, internal clearing like this
So it'll say there's already one that exists. So this is the one. So right here. All right. So let's go back to in here. It's the same thing. So I just select internal clearing as a payment type and the reference number. You can use some reference number like this, whatever you, 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 information you have. Normally you want to use the invoice number type. Either way that will work. So let's just say you receive the payment uh, and it's it goes to the clearing account. So you see the payment and it will go to clearing account right here. Okay, so that one is gone now. So that's not going to help you anything because uh, it's it, 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 it shows like you receive payment. So you have to transfer $1,000 from here to apply against that uh, the other invoice. Okay, so now what you want to do is from the home page screen, you need to go to plus sign, create plus sign, and choose expense. Yes, expense tab here. Let's do one more time. I'm the plus sign. Select this one and select expense under vendors. Okay, so now this one you still need to pick the same account. In this case, the bank clearing account, it's a dummy one. So pick that one right here. See, as you can see here, it's showing as if there's a one thousand dollar balance in here. So once we handle this transaction, then this balance becomes zero. All right. So the customer you want to select. In this case, it's not the vendor, it has to be the customer, the one you want, you're handling it. So it's the, uh, it's double A2, remember, it's double A2, it's the customer, that's, that's the one you have credit balance, and you want to apply that credit against this double A1 customer. Alright, so double A2, and then, so in here, this is the critical one, the payment type, let's just create, select the same one, right here. And the reference number, same one, one, two, three, four. And you may not have location. In this case, I have location. So just select location in there. Okay, this is the critical one, the count. So what's the count we should use in here? So the count you should use is account civil. So drop down, I can just type account civil, but uh, you can select account civil right here. You'll see it this see right here this is the one you want to use it will say account civil bracket a slash r and it's account civil type so this is the account you want to use so let's select this one right here the account civil and on description you can put anything you want Applying payments against double A customer. You can put the invoice number if they have it. Whatever the invoice number you have. Okay. And the amount you want to use in here is $1,000. $1,000. Right here, 1000 and uh, the customer, you can just select the same one, AA2. And the class, let's just say it's product sales, related product sales. You may not have class, that's okay. You may not have location, that's okay too. So this is the one you want to do it. Let's just say save and close. Okay, so the critical one is the selection of uh, correct customer name. Selection of account is the account civil and form you want to use is expense form and the uh, the bank account selection is the dummy bank account in this case a bank clearing account so save it you can you can just save it see the moment you save it balance becomes zero that's what we want to do so save and close all right so now if you go back to the customer center see as you can see here. So you have $2,000 left here. It was to be 3000 now it's $2,000. And uh, 
three thousand dollar uh, is the one let's say it's a credit from someone returning the products and one thousand dollar is uh, uh, transferred from other customer to this customer all right so let's go back to the, the dummy clearing account you still have it here so as you can see here we'll just re run this report It just says date is September 1. All right. So in order to get this report, all you have to do is go to reports and just look at the balance sheet. That's the easiest way to do it. Or you can you can search by transaction by account. Transaction by date, transaction by account. Either way, we'll get the same place. That's the report you want to look. I just want to select ba balance sheet account, very easy. So as you can see here, the bank clearing account is, is, is zero here. So this is what we're looking for. So click this one. As you can see here, it's in and out. So this, this, is, the, this, is, this is how you have to do it, in and out. So you got in and out, and the balance is zero. So negative and positive, balance is zero. It could be the other way. Doesn't matter. You could you could have done this one first, this transaction first, and this one second. It will it will have the same effect. So the balance is zero. So that one works pretty good. And uh, on the customer center, it works pretty good. As you can see, this one has uh, no balance left, and this one has uh, negative still two two thousand dollar negative balance left. So that's how I have to handle uh, uh, transfer from one customer to another customer, uh, especially if you have one outstanding balance, uh, one customer account, and then a net credit balance on the other one. So if you have other questions, just go to our new QBO.com. So they have all kinds of good stuff there. So you can get all kinds of answers from there. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.